the next thing we have we have these kind of two bigger well, items i was oh. i was gonna actually gonna throw throw it to you and say hey scott uh, have you been on your private plane lately oh <laughs> yeah I, I i skipped my i skipped my private jet flight home is that how of, you got back from france you took yeah. a private jet yeah yeah don't feel guilty about it there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> i'm a lear jet leninist is what i am uh yeah so uh just to kind of kick this off because i would actually say this is uh you know bob and i try not to play too much into the outrage um machine that we see on social media but this is one that kind of really like irked bob and i and I, I would also say this has irked a number of our our people in our, our our sphere especially when we've been saying this guy's a piece of shit uh we've talked about uh lee phillips on the show before uh he is a, a, a he's a uh, commentator uh, he's associated with the breakthrough institute which is like a, a neoliberal uh technocratic you know Nonprofit think tank uh, was actually founded by Michael Schellenberger, who is a uh, taking a, a serious like right wing, right wing turn. But uh, Lee Phillips is associated with them. He's also a right. He's also an author. He's also writes a lot in Jacobin. Really much uh, very much associates with like the Jacobin left. And you see people like Matt Huber and Ben Burgess and Lee Phillips all like joking, smoking and joking and, and you know, playing off of each other on Twitter and and things like that. But um, you know, and so we've we've kind of gone after Lee Phillips on on the issues around nuclear energy. We actually talked about him some when we had Josh Frank on the show, but. But now Lee Phillips has posted a new article uh, calling for private jets for all. Uh, and he's basically making a case um, and quite a detailed blog that he actually put up on the Breakthrough Institute's website, because even Jacobin didn't, wouldn't post it, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, where he's arguing that, you know, there, I also will say kind of bigger context here is there's actually a lot of calls from environmentalists, environmental groups to ban private jet travel. Uh, Greenpeace in the in Europe has actually written a report on it, which I'm gonna kind of get into in a minute. Uh, the Institute for Policy Studies and the Environmental um, uh, Research Agency have also kind of put out studies on the, on the carbon footprint of, of private jets. But basically the world is burning, um, you know, and starving and flooding and, you know, suffering all this, catastrophic climate change and then what i would call like low level pseudo intellectual predators like lee phillips who's just basically like a a flack <laughs> you for say that i got low level what's that low level low level pseudo intellectual predator uh <laughs> lee phillips he's Canadian did that just too. come to you or did you have to think that out that's pretty no, good <laughs> no i just i just came up with that it just came came to me uh who's really a, a flack for industry he's definitely been a flack for the nuclear industry nuclear and it sounds like that. he's a flack for the private jet industry at this point who poses as a progressive or a socialist is arguing that the recent calls and there's a lot of direct actions actually going on at private jet airfields around the u.s and in europe as well uh to ban private jets are useless and we should just like socialize the use of private jets um i i want to say that one we're we're not actually living in the kind of world right now where um we're going to see some socialist revolution that privatizes all private jets and so to me the disruption of private jet traffic and you know making the lives of billionaires and celebrities and wealthy people not being able to take their private jets um you know more difficult and more sh and shame them around it is actually an important thing to do but just one percent of the global population is responsible for half of the world's aviation emissions, and that's a lot of private jet flights. Private jets cause about ten times more CO two emissions than regular flights, and 50, 50 times more than the average uh, train ride. Um, actually, in reality, about eighty percent of the world's population has never flown. Yet they're the ones also being most impacted by the climate crisis. Um, and so, you know, to have someone like Lee Phillips um uh you know advocating for uh you know private you know he also claims that he's a he's pro-nuclear because of the climate crisis yet he's advocating for for private jets um i will also say that private jets have all this have all these uh tax incentives like you like a lot of uh 
the FAA, for example, is 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 paid out of tax dollars coming from domestic airline flights, which is the customers. And so when you ride coach in a plane, you're paying for you know the regulation of the aviation industry. The private people riding on private jets pay like less than one percent of the taxes uh, on that. Um, the amount of private jet so so there's like a whole thing where the rich are just getting richer and they get to ride around in their private jets like they're fucking taxis or ubers or whatever um but then also we have um the amount of private jet traffic uh since covid since 2020 because apparently there's been a covid private aviation boom has increased by about 65 percent um and just as an example of one of our other favorite figure billionaires in the public eye Elon Musk uh, took one private jet flight about every other day in 2022, producing over 2,100 tons of carbon emissions just himself in, in last year alone. That's 132 more times than the entire carbon footprint of an average individual in the U.S. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're talking about a, a industry and we're talking about a technology that is for by and for the rich they are protected from it the the traffic is protected by it they're actually there's a there's a huge private jet lobby um which spends about 2.4 million dollars every year since 2008 lobbying the federal government to basically for tax giveaways um and so and and it was led to the growth of this industry um and so i just want to say that when we see people like Lee Phillips, who are now like basically lobbying, you know, socialists and progressives to think differently about private jets, he's really just doing the bidding of, you know, the billionaire class, you know, despite what he says. And if you actually read his article, he he makes a lot of arguments. It's like, well, I'm not doing this because Taylor Swift gets to ride in her $40 million jet. I'm, I think there's a lot of benefits in it for regular people, but that's actually not true. He's basically just sort of shadow flacking for the private industry, the private aviation 